Welcome to another video on Keyclock Identity and Access Management System. In this short video, I am talking about Token Claims Evaluation. We already know what is a token. In the last video, we talked a lot about token types and their usages. Also, I showed you how to extract and inspect tokens generated for an application by Keyclock. There can be many attributes in a token such as issuer, audience, subject and username. These attributes are called claims. I hope you can remember in the previous video I used jwt.io website to inspect these tokens. Today I am going to show you that there is a special section in Keyclock admin console. We can use that to evaluate the claims of a token. Now I am going to show you that particular section. For that I am moving to the Keyclock admin console. You can see now I am in the realm called hexadefense. First I visit to the clients page. Now I go to the OIDC client. This is the same client I used in previous two videos. Today I am going to a new tab named client scope. Now you might be a bit confused because I have never talked anything about scopes in this video series yet. But don't worry, very soon I am going to talk about the scopes in a separate video. Here you can see there appear two more tabs as setup and evaluate. I am going to the evaluate tab. In this tab, we can evaluate tokens generated by Keyclock for a particular client on behalf of a given user. I already have a user named Hexa in this server. Therefore, I am providing the username as Hexa. I click the evaluate button. Once evaluate button clicked, there appeared three tabs as effective protocol mappers, effective role scope mappings and generated access token. Since in this video, I am only interested in token evaluation, I directly move into the generated access token tab. Here you can see the access token which will be generated and sent to the client application by Keycloak when the selected user is authenticated. In this example, I selected the client having the name OIDC client and the user with name Hexa. Therefore, this is the access token that will be generated by Keycloak for OIDC client application once Hexa user is authenticated. In the previous video, we inspected this access token using jwt.io website. If you would watch that video again, you will find that name of the claims are identical in both access tokens. Now you know how to evaluate an access token using Keycloak admin console. Normally, claims will be included to a token based on the protocol mappers, role scope mappings and also based on the claims and roles assigned to the user himself. Now you might be eager to learn about protocol mappers and scopes. Therefore, in the next two videos, I am going to talk about protocol mappers and scopes. So this is what I wanted to talk in this short video. See you in the next one. Thank you very much.